that throughout my life, I've seen a lot of uh, people in relationships. Uh, some have not worked out and some have what we might perceive as, you know, working. But one thing that I've noticed is that a lot of, is that we tend to uh, support a lot of suffrage in relationships just for it to work. Okay. You know, you're being disrespected, you know, you're not compatible. Uh, maybe that's not, you're ignoring all those red flags because you want to see the goodness in the relationship or the person. And, you know, you sit in that relationship for a period of time and, you know, you're not really enjoying it. <laughs> you're there fighting for, you know, what, you know? So I, I think it's important that, I mean, we, we have, we love ourselves and we have that level of self-confidence that we can, you know, pick the right partners and not be in a situation where we have to be putting up with things that we won't, you know, you know, before we go into relationships, sorry to be rambling, we all have in our minds things that we won't put up with, things that we don't like, you know, the perfect partner, whatever the case may be. And then we would see all these red flags at the beginning and then we would ignore them because in our minds or in our head, we're trying to find the good in the person or we're trying to find the good in the relationship. And in the long run, it, it usually comes back to sort of bite you in the butt, I think. So let me ask you a question. Because mm -hmm. you said you have been single almost all your life, right? So I wouldn't think that you would be the person to give your advice for a successful relationship or how that will work. Because um, the red flag, all of the red flags are, are, are there. How does a person, coming from your perspective as a single lady, okay. how would you... You see, I get that comment. I get that comment quite a lot from persons that, um, you know, well, you've never been in a relationship, so how would you know? Okay, look, a relationship, okay, it's two human beings. You're com two completely different people. Okay, you have different goals. You are coming from. You are brought up differently. Okay, you're coming from different backgrounds. It's just two completely different people who are just trying to coexist. Okay. It's the same as if me and you, we're trying to coexist, but you know what? The only difference in a relationship, quote unquote, may be the intimacy, okay? That's the big difference. But at the end of the day, for me and you to coexist, there must be some level of compatibility. There must be some level of respect, right? And you know what? I believe that relationships, believe it or not, it just needs to start as basic likeness. Do I even like you? There's a lot of people in relationships that they don't even like each other. And when I'm talking about that liking, I mean just as how I would like a co-worker or I would like uh, the lady at the store or what have you. That basic likeness for another human being. I think that's where it starts. And a lot of people are in relationships and they don't like each other. And that, I agree. And that, yeah. but they, are, they, they want to say they're in a relationship. So, yeah. um, I, I want to, this is this is like we, we're on the we're on the, 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 the topic of relationship and you're very in tune with it. So why haven't you given a relationship a chance? Ah, listen. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll be honest and tell you why. Um, from a really really young age, uh, I left and went to university and I started to travel a lot, and I got this sense of independence from a very very young age. And I spent like a lot of my 20s going to university and traveling. Then before you know it, my 30s crept up on me and I was pretty much doing the same thing. And then now I'm in my early 40s and, you know, I'm really, really independent. And when I say independent, I don't mean, okay, I can pay my bills and I can buy my food and whatnot. I'm so independent in terms of my thought processes, in terms of what I want for myself, in terms of who I am. You know, and I just don't feel the need to be in any form of relationship where I need to feel good about myself because it, I, I wake up every day knowing that I'm capable, I'm able, okay? I, I like, you know, me. I look in the mirror and I'm happy and I'm content with the person. So I don't really feel the need for somebody to tell me, you know, uh, you're, you're this or you're that because... The, the years that I've spent doing things, 
I see people in the comments saying you're lying. And I'll tell you why you people would say that. Because you haven't gotten to this level yet. <laughs> you haven't gotten to this level yet. <laughs> when you get to this level of self-confidence and reliance and feel good about yourself and i mean i run two businesses and i'm you know and i'm doing my thing right you don't feel the need okay to you have somebody date. validate your existence you don't date not at all um i've done it when i have the time and mm. i can tell you my experiences <laughs> what do you mean you've done it like it don't look like a, all the while it's happening. It look like you're just you're, you're so into yourself that you're coming like a devil like go around people. Um no 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 no. I mean I, I have my family, uh I have friends, I have acquaintances, but it's just that I do not put too much premium on relationships. And when I say relationships, I mean I mean relationships as, as being in a man having a relationship with a man. I put premium on my relationships with my family. I put premium on relationships with good friends, building those friendships. Okay. So in terms of, you know, me being in a relationship and, you know, having a man there to validate my existence and, <laughs> and all that, I, I don't. You're a career person where in your career takes up much of your, so much of your time that you don't really have time for a relationship because of your career. Okay, I would say, I would be honest and say yes. Uh, it does take up a chunk chunk of my time, you know, where I have to focus on that. But I mean, and and guess what? You know, my my self confidence and my sense of who I am actually is is like a spin off from the career because I've been able to achieve so many things. You know what I mean? That I I feel good about me. So you know, I don't feel the need. I to actually uh, do that. Petty, right? Petty is my friend from England. Petty, okay. I know her many, many, many years. And I've never heard that pet of a man. She's always working and I clean her house. <laughs> Every time you talk to pet, whether she's not working, she clean her house. Pet furniture, they not even have dust on it. You know, every furniture have dust. Okay. That is to how oh, pet don't have a man. Pet that even have a pet and she named pet. <laughs> okay. So... I would say like all right, most people in the in the in the in the comments, probably when you're saying that you don't um have a relationship, probably them saying that oh she, she so much here she not have a man. That means mm -hmm. that no man not trouble her front. Because once you say you not have a man, people just say you not have sex. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So uh, they're 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 making assumptions and based on what you just said, I believe that you want me to address that part. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay um i can be honest and tell you that um i have had you know what i term as maybe gentleman friends i can say that i mean look at the end of the day okay we all know that you know relationships are more than just intimacy it's having you know that connection and that compatibility and whatnot with with um with a, a partner um in terms of i guess meeting a sexual need um in the world that we're living in that's not difficult um you know maybe a couple century a couple decades ago that would have been something difficult to get but in the world that we're living in it's not difficult to meet your sexual needs i don't know if i answered your question all right <laughs> you see so yeah you're being very professional and you're answering you're answering the question indirectly right so yes you're not really saying much but you're saying something because yeah. what they wanted because these people lady um people were commenting at the comment like um bella <laughs> no man no man no man know what they feel like that is what they want them they're, 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 they're oh, okay okay so i guess okay so i'm gonna maybe get a little bit more explicit in terms of my explanation maybe that should maybe yeah. answer the question okay so ladies and gentlemen in the comments um i'm not a virgin uh yes i've had sex 
uh, I've had it multiple times. Uh, how many partners? That's none of your business. Right. Um, do I enjoy it? Yes, I do. Um, how do I get it? We're living in the 21st century, and it's not difficult to get it. I don't know if I answered the question correctly. All right. You see, she answered now. Left the woman. Leave her alone. She's focusing <laughs> on herself so much, right? And, and just remember is that everyone can speak ghetto like we, right? And, and if you don't understand, she, Kayana Jamaican, right? Um, no. Um, I mean, I went to university in Jamaica. Uh, I visit Jamaica pretty often. Um, my, my most so my client base are Jamaican, so I am familiar with, with the culture. Um, but, I mean, look, you people in the comment might think, you know, I'm this self-centered person, but I'm not. I actually mm -hmm. pour a lot into people, and I am very, very conscious, uh, and I do a lot of things with intention, okay? I am um, too. Yeah. Because some people in the room have had a life a long time because all the people are coming that I go on. But mm -hmm. like your confidence. Yeah, I mean, I, as a, as a human being, I, I I deal with other humans being human beings really really well, and any opportunity that I can pour into another human being, I will do it, and you know, and I don't have to be you know in a relationship or be with a man. Richie, if I meet you, I don't know somewhere in Kingston, and we're having a conversation, I mean, you will get the whole of me. Right. right in terms of who i am and what can i do for you and how can i assist you and you know how can i get you to the next place and those are things that i intentionally do okay as a decent human being but all i'm just saying i mean yes relationships are good if that's your goal and that's what you want but all i'm just saying is you know we need to stop promote this suffrage and we need to try and we need to, oh, I went through 20 years with this man, but, you know, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary, so we got this far. I mean, and you've gone through so much suffering in 25 years. <laughs> oh, in all these years, you know what I mean? And you're thinking that this marriage is successful because you and this man or woman are still under the same roof. And you've lost so much within that period of time. You know what I mean? You're right. So much of you have lost because you're trying to maintain this relationship. You know, some of the goals that you wanted to achieve, you never did it. Uh, some of the things that you wanted for yourself, that never happened. So many things that you had to compromise with and uh, you've lost. So I believe you've lost so much. And I always look at, uh, you know, if, if a relationship is not working and you break up, I always look at breakups of me as being progressive. Okay. Like you're 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 giving yourself the chance or the opportunity to move on to something different and do something different in your life and you know and, and just pour into yourself than to be there thinking you know I, I'm in a relationship and I'm with this man and we have a house together and to tick and tin and you're bringing your religion and you're bringing you know. Your, your culture and all these things and, and you're suffering and I don't believe in it. Why somebody just comment and say like Queenie and do it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's just my take. I mean everybody's perspective is different but I, I, I agree with you because sometimes some we are trying to explain something but we take long to get to the point. While some people, because they you know how you're a university student, sometimes the lecturer is going down a road and telling a story, and you're like, "Why well, you don't get to the damn point?" I'm tired of the professor, you stress me out now. So mm. it's like you are telling them exactly how you trod, but they are not agreeing with you and how you're trodding. While when you say you turn off on this road now, they say, "Okay, now I get it." What she's saying about suffrage in a relationship. Don't just say you're with a man to be in a relationship just because you feel like say have to have a man. Basically, what she's saying is set yourself up for win by yourself. Put yourself first. Don't 
hold back yourself mm -hmm. and then you blame the man when it no work out. So you are really suffer. You are really suffering when you say, um, my man I gotta do this and my man I gotta do that. She like a strong person. So how I see her, she is very strong minded and not man not like when you're too strong. Them not like when you have your neck by your shoulder. Them like when them just cock you up and breathe you and tell you so they fuck up your shape. Them not like when you carry a woman. You yeah. understand? So I understand everything that you're saying. You're not saying anything wrong to me. And I'm not time for relationship because um, when I was younger, like when I was a young little youth, like 15 years old, I had a grand uncle who told me that he don't want a kids and kids a whole down like him say kids hold your back but i never understand what he mean until i grow big he didn't explain to me and said if you want to achieve something once you have a child the child is going to take more of your time and you're going to have to start doing everything for this child instead of doing it for yourself so what you what you do first is put yourself so you can help yourself first and when you help yourself you can help a child plus your family because mm -hmm. the lady you are going to get pregnant with is going to be the mother of your child so you have to put yourself in a, a financial position that say no say okay i can buy a shoes for myself buy one for my child and buy one for my baby mother mm -hmm. because enough people just say yo because when i was younger i used to say yo, i want yo yo when you reach early if you reach all 30 you know have no youth yo you have round balls yo <laughs> yo you know, this and like some things where we used to speak of as a young lad growing up because i end up and get kids when i was 18 and i have no regrets because i wanted a child and i get two one time and there were times when i look at i want to buy a pair of shoes and i couldn't buy a pair of shoes because i have to buy two pair of shoes and Sometimes it's three pair of shoes because my baby mother's shoes, her slippers might burst out because she has to go to the clinic and all of that. So I don't blame you for putting yourself first and saying, mm -hmm. okay, I cannot bother with. It's okay to be selfish for, for yourself. Right. You're selfish. And, and, and what I wanted to, and what I wanted to add to that is this because uh, there were some comments and the uh, it, there were some comments uh you know where people saying you know, you're being selfish but what women need to understand is this when you're quote unquote selfish you know you're looking after yourself you're pursuing your goals and whatnot most men who are worth your while would look at you with so much admiration and respect definitely agreed so there's nothing wrong in focusing on you and doing what you want and what pleases you and pursuing all of your goals no self-respecting man that you should be paying attention to <laughs> would look at you and think any less of you they would actually look at you with so much admiration right and then when you're in a relationship right and you know you're busy doing your your stuff and so forth you're more appealing to your partner than kind of sitting there waiting for him to you know this like get a life <laughs> get your life i mean i always be, i always believe you know in a relationship you know your man he needs to have his goals his hobbies his life his friends the stuff that he does and you have those things too as well and the two of you can meet together and enjoy each other's company enjoy intimacy enjoy doing the things that you may both have an interest in and outside of that you have your own thing going on and he has his own thing going on okay so someone i mean asking, someone asking someone, yeah, someone asking um how much choice do you have now how much options do or how much option does you have do you have now? options in terms of what they need man, to be a bit more specific man man never that oh like are they looking for a specific figure i don't understand when they say options meaning no, what in terms, terms of men yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms that are men who are knocking sorry what some people say that like at, at certain age you don't you don't have a lot of options oh that okay let me let me let me address that um sometimes in life you need to be honest with yourself okay and you need to know where you're at in life and what works for you and what's suitable for you okay 
Now, let me, okay, let's use the, I'm not being judgmental, but I think a perfect example would be the Queenie and Dewey example to answer that question, okay, in terms of options, okay? Again, I'm not, not being judgmental. We're just using that as a little case study. <laughs> Yes. Okay. No, no, no. So, I mean, Queenie's in her 50s uh, or early 50s or whatever you, and her husband is like, what, in his 30s or somewhere there? Yes. Yeah. And this is where options and being realistic is concerned, okay? You have to know that at certain age and stage in your life, you have to make decisions on what will work for you. A woman at age 50 years old, okay, when you're looking to pick a lifelong partner you have to be honest with yourself okay a man that that would more than likely work for you maybe he's a divorcee maybe his his wife has passed away you know those are your options <laughs> at that age you're not gonna go and look for a guy who is 25 30 what have you okay be honest it's not going to work, regardless of how you feel, how he looks, the intimacy and whatnot. We need to be honest with ourselves in life when we're making decisions on the partners that we're looking for, okay? And again, I'm not being judgmental, okay? But if I look at that case study, I don't believe it was a good decision in terms of the options that are available, because we need to be okay. honest. We don't sell. Where are your options? Where, so where are your options? My, gonna ask where are okay. You? What my options in terms of, okay, so me, okay, at 41 years old, if I get up tomorrow morning and decide, okay, I'm going to look for a husband. Yeah. You know, I get up and I decide that. Obviously, my options at this age would more likely be someone around my same age, more than likely. He would have had a past. He maybe would have had kids before or maybe an ex-wife or AKA baby mother or whatever the case may be, okay? And those are my options in terms, or maybe he's a little bit older, he's divorced or the, he's a widow or what have you. So those are my options in terms of the men that I may be looking at as a potential partner. I don't know if I answered that question in terms of my options. Those would be my options. Yeah, yeah. Your answer to them. Answer <laughs> to them. Okay. Yeah. Somehow, yeah. somehow I'm thinking that that question, and maybe the person in the comment can uh, maybe uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think the, what the person is trying to, or what the person is gearing towards is options in terms of maybe who I have around me, who's maybe knocking at my doors, calling me or texting me. I think that's what the person is trying what the person is referring to i don't know somebody said i'm like yeah, yeah, like like yeah, like yeah, 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 answer while some people say you may have had it or may have only but option <laughs> bless <laughs> you just have to be realistic you have to look at yourself your situation and what's and what can work for you okay and not try to think because you know, you see some 35-year-old boy, you know, saying hello to you and telling you, yeah, you're looking good, that you're going to go for that. He's not right for you, okay? He's 35 and you're 50. You, 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 it doesn't work, okay? So you, you have to be realistic in what will work for you and the stage you're at in your life and what, what is compatible to you. Because, look, the older you get in life, there are certain comforts you want, okay? There's certain peace of mind that you're looking for the older you get. And I don't believe, you know, going into your late 40s, 50s, you want to be wrestling with certain things, <laughs> you know? Because you would have spent a, a, a great deal of your life, you know, working on you and building you up and pouring into yourself and really understanding what you want. And if you have done that, okay, then yes, you would know what your options are. You wouldn't be there wrestling with, you know, trying to make things work that would never work. So I, I agree. I agree. People have to just know what them, what their desire and what and be their... be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Uh, yes, be honest with yourself because, you know, sometimes... Um, 
la I call me would have said, Ashanti, me love her, and Ashanti, me for it. And Ashanti, now look for me. So me have a second for all candy wow. You know? So, <laughs> in my mind, me I say, I want to, Ashanti, I'm a wife, you know, you feel like. Somebody. Do, do, a candy wow, me there with. It's okay. Somebody is asking in the comment if I have any options knocking at my door. So I'm going to answer that question. <laughs> Okay, so a uh, person in the comments, I'll tell you what. Uh, in my professional circle, okay, I do come across uh, single men, married men, uh, what have you, and persons will show their interests, okay? Um, as I said, for me, okay, what I portray as an individual, for some men, it, it might be very attractive. It might be something that they admire, and for some men, it just doesn't work. Okay, everybody is is different. Okay, somebody's saying I take life for joke. No, I don't, because you know what? I am happy. I'm content. I feel good about me. So again, we're not promoting the suffrage to be in relationships. <laughs> So maybe if I had a partner and I was here suffering and getting up every day and, you know, dealing with all sorts of craziness with this man just to remain in this relationship, and then I guess I'm taking life seriously. The fact that I decide to take, to go on the road where, you know, I decide that, you know, my own personal happiness and fulfillment is important to me, then I guess, I don't understand. Somebody's saying in the comment, nobody died from being single. Yeah. And, you know, Richie, there's a, believe it or not, and I know a lot of people in the comments are not going to agree with me, but I'm sure there's like about most people who are in relationships and wish they were single. What? Somebody asked why you don't show your face. The woman don't want to show her face. I can if they want. I mean, at the, end of, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's their own judgment. Okay. Yeah. And everybody um, love the camera. Some people camera shy. And we have to understand well, that our boys have confidence. She's afraid to show her. No. And another thing too, I think people want to see who I am so they can make some sort of deduction or what have you to determine why I'm single. So they may be thinking, as you say in Jamaica, there's, what is it? Tree growing in your face. Right. <laughs> You don't have to show yourself, please, nobody. Your vice says it all. Your vice says it all. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't really. It doesn't really matter. So I know people are trying to justify my singleness by me showing my face is to justify why I'm single. That's it. Why you're single? Yeah. Everybody wants. Me why showing my face is gonna justify my singleness or yeah. not. <laughs> you know, single out there. She just know that you're single. <laughs> Okay. Leave her alone. So, oh, you know, even if you know I'm rambling on about we single and whatnot, I am not opposed to being a relation being in a relationship, but um as I said I will be single people over here. Yeah come like a Christian mingle that come this head upon right now. <laughs> single people over here. No, no, I mean I am not opposed to it, but for me I, I need to, if I'm going to be in a relationship, it has to, to be uh, with a man who can really um, appreciate who I am as an individual, um, appreciate what I have to offer. And when I say what I have to offer, I don't mean material things. I don't mean my body. I mean me, the individual, okay? What I've learned throughout the years, uh, you know, information I can pass on to him, uh, you, you know, like, Whatever I can be of some value to him as another human being, that is that is important uh, to me. And then what I would prefer, <laughs> you know, is someone who who can uh, add to my existence. And I'm not talking material things. Uh, you know, I'm not talking intimacy. It's it's just you know his his whole presence need to be something of. Okay, somebody's saying it's a fake page. Okay, so let me um, let me address this. Okay, um, I don't know if I told you, but I'm actually speaking to you from Ghana. Oh, you're in Ghana. Yes. 
I am not Ghanaian. I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago. I, I live in Ghana, Ghana and the sort of person knows. So the page uh, basically is a business page that I'm, well, I don't have a lot of time to develop.